I am just praying that the internet cooperates. I'm so annoyed because if you guys have been in the last couple of streams, you'll know that Kyle is visiting her family in Georgia and my intent had been to stream basically every day while she's away because you know, what else am I going to do all day? So it was supposed to start, actually it was supposed to start Sunday. Then there was a gun raffle that I didn't know was actually happening. So I was with that uh, or at that with my dad and my uncle all day. Then yesterday, all excited to start, you know, streaming every day. And the internet is literally terrible. It's been giving me issues again today. Um, we shall see how this goes. But uh, yeah, may maybe uh, maybe it'll be kind to us and things will be all good. We all know Shadow's just eating the ethernet cords. You know, <laughs> I didn't think it was Shadow, but I thought, you know what? Maybe, maybe there's like a mouse or something that was chewing on the ethernet cord. I actually got under my desk earlier and checked. The cord is in fact fine. You know what I think it is, Danny? I think I need to get a new router. Um, let's do that. Since we are in approximately Crockland, I was thinking about it. I've been here for about two and a half years, meaning I've had that router for about two and a half years. It was around the two and a half year mark with Xfinity at my apartment where I started to have issues with them. So I wonder if, if maybe routers just start to, to have problems after two, two and a half years? That's kind of what I'm starting to think. What's up, sweetness? Need a dang bear great one already? Have you had any, um, like any better luck with the, the daylight zones? Time to hit up Elon and get Starlink? My concern with, I'm not gonna shoot that cause I don't really feel like running over there. My concern with um, satellite internets is that they tend to be unreliable with weather, which is kind of a problem when you stream at the same time and days every week. Sounds good, Kyla. What's up, pizza? Why are you streaming? Well, for one, because I didn't get to stream yesterday. Internet struggles have been very real. Really, for like several days running, but the last two days especially. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's a fair chance at some point, like the, the stream just drops out. If that happens, give it 20 seconds to refresh. It'll probably come back. Um, and then the other thing is I've been playing on streaming a bunch. But if, if we have internet struggles... Maybe I'll just do double uploads for the rest of the week or something. I don't know. We'll see. Dude, I, I was thinking the same thing, Bottom Boy. I'm pretty sure I was only in my apartment for three years. Like, almost to the day. I think it was... Well, yeah, when Verhunga came out. So it was most certainly August 30th, 2018 was like my first... I slept in the apartment on the 29th. My first full day was the 30th. I remember that because that's when Verhunga came out. It was... Summer 2021, I guess September till I moved in for here. That's been about three years, which th I was thinking about it like it, it just in, in terms of the router and stuff. It got me thinking like, for one, time has gone so much faster these three years than in my apartment. The, the three years in my apartment lasted 10 in my mind. Um, before that goes too far away, David, thank you for the 44 months. Welcome back. Been here longer than I thought getting close to the quad 12. Dude, it is... Like, we're just talking about time flying and stuff. It is insane. Sometimes it kind of scares me. Are you grinding Crocs? I don't know what we're doing. Um, I guess you could say that. My my whole thing has been... It's really boring, in my opinion, to do, like, a video of this. Like, single player or multiplayer. Running down the coast like, uh, yes, a level 5 Croc. I shall shoot it. But we can have a really good time just, you know, having all kinds of goofy conversations and the stuff that goes on on stream doing it this way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see what happens. Pizza got mod? Well, you know. Had, he, he was he was feeling real sad, so we had to cheer him up. Uh, what's up, JTAC? Great day to be a part of Steeler Nation. It's fun. Like, this is our, uh, our official can talk about all the things <laughs> stream, I guess, because the Justin Fields move was like two minutes before Friday's stream ended. Trying to get the chestnut? That one seems to be the toughest to get. Just collecting letdown QBs like the Pokemon cards? I mean, I guess if there is one person to say that it would be the guy who was the fan of the team Russ was on, so I'll give you that. What are you aggressive for? That's kind of odd. What's up, Bree? In the search for a gold rare croc, that is the, uh, the primary goal here. Our only rare croc, or male anyway, thus far has been single player, so why not give it a try? Can someone please answer what the what gun is the best in Call of the Wild? If you want base game weapons, it's probably the 7mm. Um, 
if you're counting DLCs, it's really hard to go against this 300 AR. The only thing is, it's not uh, as universal. It only covers classes 7 to 9. Something more universal, the 7 mil bolt from the Hunter Power Pack is a good one. On EC this morning, nice. Pretty nice to you? Uh, well, hopefully it'll be kind to me as well. I will say I had a really fun hunt on Brahunga for tomorrow. There is a video tonight, by the way. I am scatterbrained as all heck. Uh, there's going to be a video right at the end of this stream, provided we can make it through two hours. We'll see what happens. Um, it's, for one, it's like my favorite thumbnail I've ever made. But it should be a fun little hunt. It's uh, checking out the new bobcat weights and everything. And then a really weird trophy. This game needs more crossbows. I'll agree with you if if the game also gives more reason to hunt with bows. They've done a couple of things to make bow hunting more appealing. They've uh, cut the hunting pressure down like to 25% of what it typically would be. So, for instance, like if if we uh, if we're using a crossbow here, this hunting pressure would be way less bright pink. That was a good thing, but it, it really doesn't do enough. I've said it before, like, Way the Hunter kind of incentivizes bow hunting because you can kind of take out more weak genetic animals from your herds. Um, classic just does it best. In Classic, you can pretty silently take down animals with the bow, but the thing about it is, spooking animals in Call of the Wild is, like, a bad thing. Go away. But spooking animals in Classic, you could cost yourself potentially, like, hours tracking it. Generally speaking, if you spook something in Call of the Wild, like, yeah, you gotta go and find it, it doesn't take very long. So, so there's just not the... Infrastructure is a terrible word, but th just the way the game works, it's it's not uh, ideal for, uh, for bow hunting. Favorite thumbnail? I can put it on screen if you guys want to see it, because I think it's funny. Um, we'll, we'll see what you guys think. Uh, favorite NFL team? Steelers. So it's been a, been a fun... What, last uh, two weeks? How long have we had brought something like that? For me, the fun of hunting with bows is enough? That's fair. I'll give you that. I think what annoys me about it... Maybe if I wasn't doing content, I would use bows more. I think that probably is the case. It's really hard for me to, like, when I'm making videos. Let's say, that, like, if it if I'm going to try to kill a diamond with a bow, I can get really into it. But if there's, like, a, you know, a level 5 croc since we're looking at it, I'm probably not going to take the time to get in bow range. And it's really hard to be like, alright, we're sneaking in here on this silver. Like, I, I don't know, I just can't get into it as good. Did you hear the Scarecrow's brother found out that all bears drink time changed? I thought we knew that, or am I misunderstanding what you're saying? Will you not? Thumbnail? Yeah, give me one sec. I'll, I'll put it on the screen, because I think it's funny. Slow this down here for a sec. So if we do an image, and then if we go to... State. I need to like put all my old thumbnails on a folder. Look at the absolute chonkasaurus. <laughs> it's it didn't even take like a ton of work to do that, but I thought it demonstrated the point really well that they changed the bobcat weights. And I just enjoy how fat the one on the left is. Anyway, thick. When does Turkey th start for you, dude? It's not till May fourth. It's so late here in PA. I'm, like, disappointed that it starts that late. We are going to Kentucky, myself, uh, Bottom Boy, and Aaron, who's probably not going to show up in chat today. Uh, I'm assuming he's working. The If you watch the saddle hunt that we did in Kentucky last year, the, the same three of us. So we're going to try to get a little earlier turkey hunting in then. But, yeah, it, it just sucks, like, the the start here being so late. They're already It's already late as is, but... It's as late as possible, essentially. Still using MS Paint for thumbnails? I never used Paint, but I used Microsoft Word a lot. Do you hunt in real life? Yes. Most amazing thumbnail I've seen. Hey, there's a good one. Aaron never shows up? Well, he was in one of our streams recently, but he works, like, all the days that I stream, which makes it difficult. He's like an echocardiologist or something. He's way smarter than I am. <laughs> 
Name something stupid hunting related in PA probably does in <laughs> some shape or form. We do have some interesting uh, rules, regulations, laws, all that sort of stuff. 25th here in Ontario? So that's about as early as ours can start. It's, it's in that week frame from like the 26th to May 4th, something like that. Hey, Aaron. I joined your server in Hunter Classic and you ended it and then you put a password. Was that like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago? I didn't know anybody joined. But yeah, I um, I forgot to buy ammo or something, so I backed out. And then I realized I made it open to the public, and then I closed the server and, and uh, password it. Because I was just editing, so I, I wasn't going to be like, you know, able to chat or anything. I do, however, typically host multiplayer every Wednesday night um, on Twitch. So if you want to join a multiplayer server when I'm actually there... That would be the time to do it. Since when do you hunt in real life? I mean, I've been hunting in real life since I was like five? Five or six, my dad would take me like groundhog hunting, squirrel hunting, some small game. Um, as far as like posting real life hunting content, this is my fifth year of doing it. So I started in uh, 2019. Technically 2023 was my fifth season, if you if you count it out. So been a, been a while since I've been doing that. Season in North Carolina is every week in April. Yeah, um, Lucky, who is, he usually shows up about, uh, about once a, oh god, once a month on Twitch to renew his sub. He kills, for one, he kills, like, big male deer and turkeys down there every year. But he's always killing a lot of birds, and I think it starts, uh, yeah, beginning of April is when he starts to send me pictures of all the, all the turkeys he ends up getting. Do you guys have a minimum draw weight for bows in PA? I think... And, and I think, like you're saying, is really strangely specific. Like, it's, it, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something like 34.25 pounds or, like, a very specific... I'm sure it's, like, a energy calculation that was done, but it just seems really arbitrary. I never get that. I did it once. Also, not to mention, PA, for the first two weeks, you can only hunt till noon. So are we the only state that does that? It's one of those things, you, you grow up hunting in PA and don't hunt anywhere else, you think is normal. What's up, Rylan? Got a 13 point, nice. If you're in the Discord, you should post a picture of it in the um, IRL hunting and fishing section. A couple of mythicals up here, that's in encouraging. Why do you put a password on the Hunter Classic? Um, like, if I'm hunting by myself, like, typically... The, um, I guess I always put a password on the game. When I'm streaming, the reason I put a password on is because the idea is to be able to get people from the chat in the game. So rather than having someone that doesn't even know I'm streaming in the server taking up a spot that somebody that is in the chat and wants to join could have, I just do a password and then in those Twitch chats you can just do exclamation mark password and see what that password is. If I'm editing, like the server that I was talking about where I accidentally left it open, um, the password's just there because, for all I know, I might have some random person come troll me, sit behind me with a four-wheeler or, not, or a uh, jeep, and just spook all the stuff. So I'm just trying to avoid that, because, like, I'm just tabbed out of the game 85% of the time. Did you say we can only hunt turkeys till noon in PA? The first two weeks, or, or maybe three weeks? Whatever it is. Jax, you just confirmed that the next DLC is the map. Really? I have a question for you, and I realize this is going to be really, like, not interesting. Do they normally stream as late as he did today? I saw it on social media that he was going live at 1 p.m. and I was like, is that right? Thought it was thought it was typically uh, noon. What's up, Zygerts? Are you feeling better yet? Believe West Virginia is out of the woods by 1 p.m., but it's the entire four-week season like that. I think ours is out of the woods by 1 p.m. too, but you have to be done hunting by noon. I don't know if yours has that additional stipulation. The map is definitely in June. Uh, what, we're March now? Yeah, I'd say you're right. Because if it was going to be April, we'd have... We'd already know what it is. And if it was going to be, say, May, we'd probably have hints. I think it's going to be a typical June release. I think you're I think you're on it. Still not feeling better. What the heck, man? Solid. Just we had the time change in the USA that didn't happen in Europe? I thought it worked the other way around. I thought Europe was usually first. That explains it then. Did you know that all the bears have different drink times now? 
So somebody just said that earlier. You're talking about all the bears had the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. zones, right? Like the ones that everybody talked about with Silver Ridge Peaks. That happens on New England mountains and Leighton Lakes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You mean brown bears and grizzly bears. I think, I think I'm caught up now. I accidentally, I think, found that out in multiplayer, but I didn't confirm it. What's up, Rusty? Not until March 31st, okay. Girlfriend came to school with the flu. Now I got it, so your streams helped me feel better. The flu sucks. Ho hopefully you can get over it soon. I feel like it's, it's one of two things. Either it's a day or two and you're over it, or it just gets you for two weeks. Hopefully it's the day or two one. I <laughs> just saw that bottom boy. Oh boy. Brown bears and grizzlies change four to eight. Yeah, that, that's um... I don't remember what the heck. Reventuli, I guess? I was... I had like a bear drink zone where I picked up the track and I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I kind of just never went and looked at it. I wonder if that's a good thing or not. It probably is. That means... Grizzly Bear on Yukon will actually drink in the daylight again. That's going to be really fun. Gonna have to... Oh, hello there. Gonna have to mess around with uh, Brown Bear on... On Revan Tuli. She actually also says it's a really exciting map. They did my... Uh, Greenland the day idea. It's got to be. Cut off more of my hair than I wanted. How dare she. Did you know you could drop Mustier with the 22? Uh, I haven't messed with it, but I was aware that... Is it the truncated rounds? I think when those came out, it became possible to do a lot of stuff like that. Always a legendary croc on the beach, pretty consistently. Although I would say I don't seem to get very many. They're always in the swamp for me. Take your time there, buddy. Ooh. So... Okay. <laughs> I was going to try to kill them both. And then I was worried that if I shot twice, I'd scare the legendary. So I shot three times instead. Big reptile. He should make diamond. I mean, it's a pretty good estimate. If only he were a rare. I saw somebody post a, a piebald croc the other day. They're not as obvious as I thought. Got a super rare Saturday. There you go. What'd you get? I'm all like... It's from, honestly, it's because of Classic. I've been having some pretty good luck with, like, some nice rares and stuff, and I'm just all into super rares lately, like the idea of getting a big rare not typical, for instance, in Classic. Not a guarantee, but it's Flinter Plane, so it is a diamond. Unless it's Moose, usually those ones don't like me. Everything else... Uh, just watch, this is gonna troll now. <laughs> Everything else, for the most part, does uh, cooperate on stream. Gray variant, which is... We have a nice one of these, but it's my favorite. Kind of wanted to try to neck shot him, so... We'll give him a second. I looked at the chat for one millisecond. I did that. How do respawns work in Classic? There's only one instance where there are respawns in Classic. And that is if you... Uh, hunt all the way to 1900, you'll pass over to a new day. Anything that you've shot will be replaced by a new animal when that happens. Otherwise, there's no respawns. Every session is a whole bunch of new animals. Randomized. I give up. <laughs> it's not worth the next shot anymore. Joined just in time for a legendary croc, and I spent a whole bunch of time trying to get a next shot and then didn't even attempt it. Buffering for a sec? Actually, at least according to this, it wasn't drop frames like buffering. I wonder if it was YouTube. Mine actually shows everything was good. How weird. Everybody got lag, so there must have been something. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a second. I won't claim this yet. We'll let uh let hopefully everything settle down. Nice shot, thank you. Somehow we got the other one too. Alright, hopefully we're good. Everything on my end looks fine. <laughs> I feel like I did this to myself. It it, uh, it seemed inevitable. A couple of you guys are getting sound cutting out. Just try refreshing, because I don't know why that's happening. 
skill issue? Clearly, I mean, it couldn't be anything else. Had a diamond croc, an albino croc, and a piebald gator, but they're gone because we had to delete the game to get an update. Wait, what? You had to delete the game to get an update? How weird. Not good there, though. Eh, you know, if it were if it were a rare that could have been a gold and ended up being a silver, I would have been more annoyed. <laughs> Only level 9 croc I have, I got on day one of the beach. Anytime I hunt more coast, I do a coast run, and I have yet to get another one to spawn. When I go to um, multiplayer, I don't have much luck along the coast. I did get that... Did that hit? I did get that albino female in multiplayer. Typically for me, all my success is in this swamp, which we're going to go through there too. Was that supposed to say humor you didn't have to? It was on your end? Okay. Well, at least some. It's so weird. If anything, I would have thought it would show me that we're dropping frames, but we haven't been. What's your strat when running after tracks? Have I already seen the animal? Like, am I just tracking something that uh, I'm trying to... You know, uh... What, what would you say? Max weight estimate Cape Buffalo and I want to see if he's a 9? Or is it a 9 that I'm trying to go and shoot? Because it's, it's kind of different. Jinxed it? Absolutely jinxed it. Thoughts on the new weapons? Um... I've had a really good time with them. We have the 300 AR that we're shooting all these crocs with. It's just melting through them. I just did a video that's going to come out tomorrow uh, where I used a good bit of the... Uh, a decent bit of the 10 gauge. Had a, a pretty cool little trophy with that. So it, it's not like I wouldn't say it's nearly as much a star of the show as is the 300 AR, but it's solid. And the 4570 is a lot of fun. I, I kind of find it to be almost a novelty weapon anyway. But it's really good, as dumb as this sounds, at long range. So I've, I've had a lot of fun doing that. What's up, Shio? Dude, that that was you, right, in my Discord? See, now I'm getting everybody confused. That meme you posted about Mahomes in my Discord is the funniest thing. <laughs> I, I stared at that for 10 seconds, and when I realized what it was, I just died laughing. How does animal spawning work in classic to new animal spawn every time I make a new game? Yes. Um... I don't think it's fully random, but it's essentially fully random. I, I don't know where, somebody told me this like forever ago, that there's like an upper limit on like say trophy class animals so that you can't get say a server full of 175 plus whitetail. But for the most part, it's completely random. Are you gonna do an episode of Unna Untamed Species with a new map? I have no idea. I'd like to. I had a really good time with the Bantang. What's up Wyatt? I have this idea for something I might do, and for one, I gotta make sure the internets are gonna be more cooperative before I do it. But something like, and we're approaching the new map, so this is probably down the road a ways, but um, I won't give you the entire premise of it. But I wanna do like a starting over challenge series, sort of with some arbitrary rules. I, uh, basically what I wanna do is make it really annoyingly challenging to level up and to be able to attain new weapons. That's as far as I'll explain, because I don't want to give it away. But I think it could be a fun, like, streaming and video series, like, stream the whole thing and then cut it down for videos. What's up, Gunup? By the way, you're going to get a diamond this stream. Well, we had a troll already, so hopefully we get a diamond. I'd like to think if we just shoot a million crocs, it'll happen. You know what else would be nice is a rare Bantang. So, become rare, you. Hunting Hirschfelden. So like I, <laughs> I get the uh, the premise. I don't hate Hirsch anymore. You just got to be patient with it. That's the thing. I used to really hate it. Best grind on Yukon Valley? Uh, wait, what are you asking? Like the best thing to grind? Playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Nice. What map? Excuse you, amphibious creature. They're not amphibians. What's that called? When they're both? I don't know. Watch quite a few YouTube streams, but now I made an account so I can chat. This is probably going to sound dumb, but I, I guess I recognize the profile picture from 
just like your Twitch channel? Because I would have thought that that was the same. Like, I didn't even realize that was new, that you have, like, the, <laughs> the account. Semi-aquatic reptiles? Oh, true. I guess I knew reptiles. Isn't there, maybe, maybe it is semi-aquatic. There's a word for, like, when they can, like, live in the water and on land, I guess. Eh, hello? Oh, yeah, we didn't kill that. <sighs> he was just aggressive under the water. I didn't mean to switch. Ah, out of ammo. He's dying, so it'll kill him. Ambidextrous, yes, that's definitely it. <laughs> Same PFP as Discord and Twitch, that must be why it didn't even, like, occur to me <laughs> that, that, that it was a, a special occasion that you dropped by here on YouTube. Amphibians breathe air through their skin. Same. What's up, Bass Boys? All right, do we run along the northern part because there are crocs up, up there too, or do we go to the swamp in the south? Are there any new maps? Any new maps haven't played in a while? What do you mean, alcoholic? Yes. So many zones indeed. That are bilingual? Yeah, I think it's, you, you might be right. I think if you live in the water and on land, you're bilingual. I think you got it. Gotten three diamond crocs and use them when I want to farm cash. They are a really good way to get cash. That is for absolutely certain. Probably the best in the entire game, honestly, like just for cash farming. Should have paid attention to um, to what we started with, but too late for that now. What great one, Bear? Uh, I think it's technically Glacier 1. I don't know. There's... I don't know who came up with the names and who decided which is one and two, which is why I don't know which is one and two. It's the glacier one with like the paler kind of like skull face and then the scars. Could have sworn I heard something about some types of turtles breathing through their bunghole. No, I, I don't know if it's turtles. I think worms do that. This is going to be a really good conversation if we continue down this rabbit hole. Are you doing another 24 hour stream at 400k? That is the plan. Old Man Glacier? Yeah. The old timer prefers Hirsch for Fallow. I need to learn, because I, I still need a, a Diamond Fallow from Hirsch for the Licton Trophy Cabin. I need to learn where they are now. Like, I know two spots. And if there's not a level 5 there, I'm pretty much just screwed. Are turtles a game species? I don't know. I mean, turtle soup and stuff exists, but... Is, is it? It's not a game species if it's like commercial. I don't know. Have you ever caught Big Larry? Yes. The only legendary... Well, I don't have any of the Spain legendaries because I don't really like Spain. Uh, the only legendary I don't have other than the Spain ones is Sidewinder. I have a video of catching Big Larry that has 100,000 views for some inexplicable reason. <laughs> I probably didn't even know what I was talking about. Pro XTK is some awesome guy. Yeah, he has some, uh, like, really good, I want to call them resource maps, like, where you can, they get posted in the community all the time, but hotspots and all that. By resource maps, I mean, like, individual images that show you all the hotspots. Uh, I know it's not exciting, but I want a UK map. That's a huge mail. We were, I don't remember what stream it was. It was recently. We were talking about, like, all the different deer species and stuff in the UK. There's a decent number there that I think could work. But you'd have to, I guess, make some exceptions as to what is reasonable hunting. Like, for instance, Pear David's deer. I think, I believe what I was told was they're only in, like, private collections or whatever. There's no, like, wild ones. Uh, so that's kind of problematic. I don't know. Just, uh, let's put them on the map. They look cool fashionably late. What's going on, K-Flow? By the way, Kyla did, in fact, pass on your message. I think you have the correct solution, too. The longer I thought about it, I think that is the answer. I think I need a new router. What's too slow for me? I missed some. 
Uh, do you know how to do the last moose mission in Classic? It says I need to kill a moose while it's charging. Uh, are you struggling to, like, make the shot, or are you struggling to get a moose to charge? Muntjac with Must Deer 2.0? Yeah, probably. And then you have, like, the pair of David's deer that I talked about. Um, what was the other one I was thinking of? Where are you going? It's not one that I, like, typically... Like, immediately think of. Hope they do hints for the new map. I know they can't do in-game stuff. Jaxie gave a good reason why, but it's still fun to guess. I actually also forget what the reason was. I saw somebody else asking chat there. Getting the moose to charge. Alright, so your best case, I don't know if you have the moose collar or not, but you probably don't really need it. Cows will charge more often than bulls. Why that is, I have no clue. Basically, try to get within, like... 10 or 15 meters of a cow moose and then just stand up and like run around you don't have to run right at it because you don't want to get so close to it that it can kill you before you get a chance to react so just like kind of run in circles or whatever 10 ish meters away what should happen is it'll kind of like look at you and then i don't know uh posture i guess like it's gonna charge at that point you want to get ready to make your shot uh whatever your most powerful weapon is because this is gonna be a frontal shot that's what you're gonna want to use IRL UK hunting is a rich man sport. It's, I don't think it's all like rich, we, we were talking about this with Mel the other day. I don't know if it's all like rich man sport necessarily, but there's a um, sort of a tradition, a pageantry is the word, of hunting in the UK that just is completely different than here. You know the wolf how clue is still on Layton, is it? It was such a specific, if I remember correctly, you had to go, uh, was it in Calburn? At like 3 a.m. or something. And it was not even a guarantee. It, it seemed like maybe one out of every 10 times you get the wolf out. When I was told about it, I went on to Layton to make the video, and I had to do it so many times until I actually heard it. That sounds horrible, Longhorn. The angler is going to be free on Epic this weekend. Somebody else told me that. I believe that is accurate. Could I play with you someday in the Hunter Classic? Uh, I don't know if you uh, heard me saying earlier, but Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, pretty much every single Wednesday, I host a multiplayer game in the Hunter Classic. Pretty much just for everybody in chat to join. So yeah, stop by one of the streams. Check your DM. Oh, that was... Are there still Fallow there? That was a long, long time ago. That was one of my favorite ones, though. I'll, I'll tell the story of what Loungefly is talking about. Um, one of the only diamonds I didn't have in the game... I don't even know what that was. Five years ago? Uh, something like that. Was Fallow Deer. I really wanted a diamond Fallow Deer. They looked really cool. I wasn't very good hunting Hirschfeld, and I didn't know what I was doing. After a bunch of small rack trolls, this is back in the old days with the legacy horn or legacy antlers, where it was basically one rack was 99% guaranteed to troll, one rack always made diamond. I hosted a multiplayer game. A bunch of you guys from Discord joined. We killed, I mean, everything on the map. Probably dozens, if not a hundred fallow deer, tons of roe deer and red deer and all that kind of stuff too. And then the next day, I went out. There's a diamond fallow deer sitting on my map. The the multiplayer hosting was a success. The game is too big? Where's the... Who said that? Let's see if I can find it. Something along the line of it being tied to the game as a whole and not just like one map or a species or something. So I, would you be able to put it in the game as a hint without an update? Because that, I know, like, downloads, especially for console, have gotten really bad. Maybe it's something there. Try to get a quail with a 300? Uh, if I see one of them again, I'll try it. Croc soup? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Uh, 
Wanna do that with my Tay Hour roll, but I'm still doing my Fallow grind. Oh, like host? Yeah, I feel you, man. It's just not worth it. Like, if you're doing a Great One grind on a map, I don't think it's worth hosting it in multiplayer. I, the odds that your Great One shows up exactly then are pretty low, but if it does, it would just be soul crushing. Like, if someone shot it. If Kyle got a plushie, the Shadow Raptor would get it. Shadow does think that all stuffed animals or things that look like them are hers. Um, usually every Valentine's Day, I get Kyla like a little stuffed T-Rex or some kind of dinosaur. It's usually a T-Rex. Um, and it's just, usually like it's a way, like I'll use it to like hold a necklace or a bracelet or whatever. And we, <laughs> there's like a, uh, uh, at the top of the stairs, there's a window with a curtain rod that currently doesn't have a curtain on it. And those little T-Rexes just sit up there because they're completely out of shadow's reach and there's no way she could possibly get them. Pretty sh I'm pretty sure this hair is about to be dark and I'm terrified. <laughs> Fada always said in your brunette era. <laughs> or a gator plush. I did get a gator plushie once that I thought was a T-Rex. I didn't look that close, okay? Wishful thinking, but I hope they release a new map before June or July since we didn't get one this past December. I mean, I also am wishfully thinking that, but when I look at it logically, I think we'd have like some hints or something by now if that was what was going to happen. Maybe it'll be like earlier by a little bit, but it we don't have to get too much further until we start to find out typically like throughout the, the old release schedule we'd start to have some like hints and some you know tune in next week stuff like with the ew streams if we go a couple more weeks and haven't under haven't heard anything i'm assuming it's going to be regular time favorite map in classic it'll probably always be red feather falls that is where i got my uh my 200 white tail and that's that's like my crowning achievement in classic i really enjoy timber gold trails the thing that i guess gets me with that map is I just feel like I want there to be multiple deer species. Like Red Feather has Blacktail and Whitetail. Loggers has Mule Deer and Whitetail, which that would be my favorite map if it had like anything else. If it had anything else I was interested in, Loggers would win easily. But yeah, it's gotta be Red Feather. It's all big game too. Like there's no pheasants or rabbits or bobcats or whatever to get in your way. Anything good yet? We've had one troll croc thus far. Run Crocs with the muzzleloader and pistol. That could be interesting. It's also interesting to do that, though. I can't lie. <laughs> Favorite classic map is also Red for the Falls. I've been owning a ton of Whiteheart Island. Um, for the last couple of weeks, whenever I edit a video, I'll usually sit in a tree stand and just like tab in and out between classic and my editing software. Now, that has caused me some crashing issues, but nonetheless. I've currently got the number one leaderboard turkey, my first ever 70 plus. That came from while editing. I killed a non-typical black tail today. It looks awesome. He's really cool looking. Whiteheart has been really kind to me, but I don't think I'm ever going to see it surpass Red Feather. All right, we're pretty good on pressure. Let's go up through the swamp. What we'll even do, too, is uh, back out to the menu and, and jump in. A laptop issue? Um, if only Beagle was here, because he's, like, actually amazing at tech support. What software do I use to edit? So I have, I think, the reason I say I think, it's, it's Vegas 365, which essentially it's a yearly subscription program. And the reason I went with that is, for one, I've been using Sony software for... Uh, when was I doing Subnautica? 2017? That's about when I started with it. So, I guess about seven years. I'm really familiar with it. I'd like to think I'm at least proficient with it as far as the type of editing that I do. And then, the thing that Sony does, they release like a new version of their software every year. I don't even, I didn't need to climb up here. I was just trying to menu. Anyway. Uh, so, Vegas 365 gives you like access to their newest software every year instead of like hey i bought vegas pro 19 and now vegas pro 21's out so i think i'm on 21 it's either 20 or 21 all that to say 
the newest Vegas Pro Edit software. Still will try for the 70 plus? At this stage now, I'm trying for a rare, so we'll see who wins that race. I imagine you're going to beat me because once turkey season starts here in a month and a half, my time to sit in a tree stand and edit hunt will go down. What do you think about Pronghorn and Classic? All right, let me tell you a story. I feel like sometimes I'm a the hunter historian when I, when I tell these types of things. Um, many, many years ago, when the first camo came out in the Hunter Classic, still called just the Hunter back then, the description of that camo, it said that it's effective on deer and antelope species. To this day, there are no antelope species in the Hunter. The only possible explanation even though they're technically not antelope, is that they were going to add pronghorn at some stage and just didn't. And it's always bothered me that they have it, and I really wish they'd put them in the game. I think, you know, the way Classic does animals with horns, I think it could look really good. I, I think they could nail it. They're bighorn, for instance. I think they're as good as it gets. Pronghorn are, in theory, much easier to model. Got a 380 Rosie. There you go. Tell it an old man voice. Hey, back in my day... In the early days, a classic. Uh, the, the, this was in uh, 40, 47, I think. Hitting turkey hard this year? We'll see. I want to, but I, I'm so not a morning person to begin with. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> that scared me. If they're cooperating, like, it, I don't even need to be able to call them in. If I'm... If I'm going out and I'm hearing gobbles every morning, I'll hit it pretty hard. Usually, I hit it hard for a week and a half, two weeks, and then they start to shut up, and I start to lose interest really fast, and it's really hard to get out of bed, drive, whatever, 45 minutes to my parents at 3.45, 4 a.m., walk relatively far in the dark, carry my camera equipment, all that kind of stuff, set up, and then hear nothing. That, that gets disheartening real fast. Aren't pronghorn more related to giraffes? Maybe. Flinter streaming in 2063. Did I ever tell you guys about the super rare I shot? Oh boy. Not really, JTAC. The, the problem is, it being a creek bottom, they really don't come down here very much. They roost up top, and then they typically spend most of their time like up around the cornfields and stuff. Every now and then we get them down here, but it's so rare, it's really not worth the time. <laughs> Flitter Old Man Voice is my new ringtone from now on. You're getting a call. It's a big male. Anyway. Uh, wish we could go hunting for free in the UK. It's, uh, it's definitely not lost on me how fortunate... I am to be in the U.S. and just never had to worry about that particular thing. I mean, not to say it's free in the U.S. either, but I know what you're talking about. Completely different thing. Love watching the vids on my lunch break. Well, I appreciate you stopping in, man. Glad you're enjoying the videos. I do the exact same thing. Every every day when I eat lunch, I sit down and I gotta watch something. I find, like, a good 10-12 minute video. Try to time it out. Works good. 25 days till the opening of the turkey season? That ain't bad. Are we going opening weekend in Kentucky then? I guess we must be. Is that 25 days away? Oh god. I gotta I have so much to do. <laughs> gotta prep content, I gotta practice calling, I gotta set up all my camera stuff, I gotta delete all the deer hunting footage. I can't wait. Watch it on my TV and my phone. I'm going to assume you're watching on the TV and mostly chatting with your phone. Is that the way that's working? 13th? I think that's the day that we plan on going down. Or maybe. Well, surely we're going to go on the 12th. I don't know. I I typically... There's... When we when we do these trips, I'm involved in some aspect of the planning, but uh, definitely not all of it. I definitely did not come up with the date for this one. I'm really glad these roots are exactly in my way. Woo! I don't know what that was, but that dropped him. As a hunter from Europe, watching your IRL hunting videos is baffling. 
And so out of curiosity, like, what's the biggest, uh, I guess the biggest thing that stands out as different? I don't shoot like that in real life, by the way, since we're talking about it. Be there Friday afternoon with the camper and the cooler? I, honestly, just the mere idea of doing this, like, with the, uh, staying at the campsite is so exciting to me. No fences? Or, like, no hunting clubs, I guess? <laughs> People who eat me but think hunting is cruel make me so mad. Yeah, they're, they're fighting the wrong battle, is the thing. Like, factory farming is so much more cruel than any individual hunter, no matter how uh, malignant one hunter could be. It's just... There's far worse things to worry about. <laughs> Empty the clip. So, I, you know, I will say I know a couple of hunters. One of them is my cousin. One of them is my best friend that absolutely do that. My cousin shot a doe in a drive one time. And I remember him telling us the story. He's like bragging about him and his buddy missed 17 times before they hit it. And I was like, I would never. I would never tell the story that way. Like, why are you, why are you bragging that you missed that many times? And then my buddy too, I, th he, I think he emptied, at a deer running through a field, I think he emptied two or three different clips, I forget. I, I would never, even if I did that, which I don't, I usually don't even like rack the bolt after I shoot a deer, I'm, uh, I'm more of a one shot kind of guy. Even if I did shoot 12 times, I'm not telling you that. Oh, no, I've not hunted Crocs much, but my first nine legendary was a troll light brown. That would make me not hunt much either. That would be such pain. At least, though, it's like a... You know, you know what the answer is, though? Every time you go past that in the lodge, you just think, that was a nice mythical. You just pretend it was not a troll and all will be well. I've lost my ability to next shot these things. Well, I guess between the two of them, JTAC, maybe it wasn't as bad. Like, maybe it was... Each held five or something, and there were like two total reloads or three. I can't math. Five star Melafalo, that's cool, man. I'm hoping for the best with mine over on Transylvania. I, I, get out of here. I don't think I hit a vital once. That's a little better. Anyway. Probably the next time I get to play, I'll pass enough age cycles that I'll have a good idea of what's happening with him. The thing with Super Trolls is at least you have a large rare. That's very true. Like I said, I feel like the best approach mentally is just to be like, yes. This was a very nice, almost max level. I got no idea, JTAC. My memory of the story was like... It wasn't running in a straight line. Like, it was it was uh, deciding between going, like, uphill or back downhill or something. This was a good 10 years ago, I bet. Might have been more than that. Eh, 10, 12 years ago. I, I, he moved back home for a couple of years. And he would stop in every day after, uh, like, after hunting during rifle season and we'd exchange stories. But I'll never forget that particular number, 17. I know that was the number. Here in Ohio, turkey season starts April 20th, but I gotta I gotta go get married that day. You know, I'm sure she'd understand if you fuzzed <laughs> up in a couple weeks. Yeah, uh, Kyle and I are getting married at the end of rifle season this year, so we gotta get our bucks down earlier than that. They at least used to, Danny. Do they still tweet those things out at the end of the year? They used to... They would make social media posts like, the most harvested animal, I think, was a uh, white tail, maybe, with hundreds of thousands, or maybe it was millions of kills. This is years ago. There was a uh, most fired weapon. Like, they had all kinds of stats they tracked, which annoyed me because, like, why don't... Classic, right? In Classic, you can see how many harvests you have with every gun. You can see how many harvests of every individual species you have. Why is that not in this game? I'd love to know, because that would, for one, that would be such good content. Like, ah, hunting the animal we've shot the least of. Hunting the animal we've shot the most of. Hunting the animal we've shot the least of with the weapon we've used the least. There's so many different options, and yet I just can't know these things. 
Are you more excited for the Congo Angler map than you were for Spain? I was excited for Spain until I realized that literally everything on that map was like uh, a passive feeder. So like I knew carp and stuff would be, but I thought the uh, barbell or barbel, whatever, you, however you call them, um, I thought the eel would be more aggressive. They are somewhat, but not as much as I expected. Just most things bite on like the float fishing rigs, which I just get bored of that. So to answer your question, yes. If you go to the trophy lodge, you can see the stats on a weapon. Yeah, well, that is true. I don't think they track, um, like, all time. Meaning prior to trophy lodges coming out and stuff. Something I want to check. We'll do that. Uh, so there's, up until they released the cosmetics, you would get three versions of every gun. Sometimes two, but usually three. If you look at any one, is it like counting anything with that ammo? Or is it the specific gun, I wonder? You should absolutely do a video sitting in a tree stand until you hunt a diamond of any species. I've thought about it. I'm just not sure. Like, like legitimately, I've thought about that, that specific video and that style of video. I don't know how it doesn't end up being four minutes long. Like, I guess I could shoot other stuff that shows up, maybe? It's, it's a little more difficult for that type of video to work. Like, another thing that I want to do is a 400-meter uh, diamond with the 4570. But if that's the video, like, if my if the whole concept of the video is, like, today we're going to try to kill a diamond at 400 meters with the 4570 pistol. If I then, like, if the next clip is me shooting a level 7 crocodile with it, I think people are just going to want to skip past that part because that's kind of irrelevant to the rest of the video. That's one of the struggles of doing like a very specific hunt like that. 